What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I am super excited because the Camaro is finally finished. So the Camaro obviously is not here but it is finished and we just have to go pick it up. Obviously this week has been TX2K week and I've been missing out and and I've been just hating it. I've just been on the sideline watching the videos. It seems like everyone's having a great time out there. But it is what it is. I just want to get the car back fixed 100%. Well, guys, here it is. Man. Got the car back. And kind of just checking out everything here. Making sure that all the gaps and lines are right where they're supposed to be. And... I mean, everything looks spot on. I mean, I feel like there's still a little too much of a gap here, but it did get better. Overall, I think you can't even really tell. And when you get up here on the side, you can kind of see it's a little bit low, so they got to adjust that slightly, but it's actually the same on this side. But here we have it, guys. As you guys can see, we are now painted instead of wrapped around the front bumper. Some, exactly the same way that we did the wrap. And you guys can see it left this back piece black in just the same way. Now, I had asked for the bow tie removal, but I guess because they ordered through the VIN number, this is kind of how they the piece they got. And so we have the bow tie. I'm not decided if I want to go with a white wrap here to blend it in or do it black to really double down and make this pop I'm kind of leaning towards the black but we did get our splitter back I mean everything is looking sharp so all right guys it's official I finally got the key so let's go ahead and get the startup I'm not sure if it's in tour or loud mode but we'll find out I think that's in loud. Just maybe. Oh, I missed that sound. All right, so we've got 20 miles of range. Let's go ahead and it looks like everything is good to go. There we go, man. It's been so long in this car. I don't even know if I remember how to drive this thing. Man, this thing's so nice. But we are on our way on back on its first drive. And I am so happy to have the car back. Man, it feels so weird driving the car again. It feels like it's been forever, guys. But we are back in the Camaro. Yes, sir. I'm not going to give a gas because obviously we are on empty, but let's go fill up and then we'll give it the first few pulls. Finally, this is a long time coming. I've been waiting to be able to drive this car for a long time now, over a month, and it is back. So get ready for the Camaro content for sure because it is coming like if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i'm actually going to be doing the nitrous install on this if you haven't there will be a link to the video here somewhere for the kit that i got and i can't wait to get all that set up but before that we did get a revision from pat g for the closing throttle body so we have to go back to the track and get another run with it the way it is now and see how it does. Obviously the weather is not the same as it was early on in the winter, so we have to kind of deal with that. It might not run what it could have ran back in the winter, but it'll still run very, very well. <laughs> oh my god the pops i missed the pops 
Unfortunately guys, it is 2K and there has been a lot of targeting going on, which is actually maybe a good thing that the Camaro was not ready because if it would have been ready, then we basically would have been targeted even just for cruising around to get food. There's been guys like Sinclair Photos, if you guys don't know, know him, he has a, I believe it's a Scion FRS, uh, and he's got a big wing on it. He did a full headers exhaust system on it, and he was given a ticket for exhaust being too loud. Now we have the valved system so we can quiet it down. Cops will still try to find anything to mess with you guys. I also don't have my front plate installed. I do have the tow hook and everything, which I'm going to be putting on because it's still the 2K weekend. If I drive this car around today, even if it's just to go get some burgers, I don't want to get pulled over for not having a no front plate. So we'll be putting that on the car. But man, it feels good. It feels really good. Go ahead and give it a little gas. <laughs> Jesus, man, that is loud and that is amazing. Put it back into sport because we do not want to get in trouble here. <laughs> oh man, I missed this car. Looks like we're still at 78, almost 80% alcohol. So the E there is always good at that gas station. So if you're here in the Houston area, in the southeast side, go to the I guess Walmart gas station on Almeda Genoa always always have had very good e content. I mean oh, I mean this thing literally just pulls <laughs> even in tour mode you can hear the pops. Um, definitely not as loud as when you're in sport mode, but I mean that's the one thing I like about this, keeping the stock axle back guys, is these stock exhausts, when their valves are open, are ultimately super, super free flowing. I mean, there's, it's a, pretty much a straight pipe. So there's very, very little to be gained besides some weight savings in terms of having the ability to quiet the car down and just open it w wide open definitely definitely recommend for anyone doing exhaust on these cars that has a dual mode active exhaust to keep the suitcase muffler ah feels so good to have the car back guys and Sterling McCall did a great job the car is perfectly straight drives great I mean everything is good the whole front end looks really good I think this is the best of both worlds to be honest guys I am not a big fan of color matching all the way to the back here. I feel like that narrows up and makes that whole top part much smaller. Um, this gives it a much taller, much bigger opening look. So I really love that. Let's get to some of the things and what we have in store for this Camaro. Because in the last month and a half, I've been pretty busy getting some parts and excited about the next phase of this car. And here are some of the rundown of what we're gonna do to the car and what the future plans are basically. So one thing that I've been holding off and haven't done just because it's a big pain in the butt is I'm actually going to be kind of getting rid of all as much as the chrome as I can so you guys can see this badge here I'm gonna wrap in gloss black so that'll get rid of the chrome there these chrome exhaust tips I'm going to be using duplicolor I believe is a shadow chrome paint two-stage paint but to do the exhaust tips and we have to remove them and to remove them I've got to basically take this whole rear bumper off so um, I had been dreading doing that so We'll just kind of take that, but that's coming up. We are going to be getting those tips in like a black, darker chrome. So it'll still be noticeable that it is an exhaust tip, but it'll blend in more. So we got that coming. This ZL1 wing, which I really, really like, guys. I dig the, the wing style, and I love how it kind of overarches 
out of the body lines. The stock SS wing, very similar to this, actually cuts off right here with the body line. So this is a little more aggressive styling, but we do have the anvil notched spoiler. So we're gonna be putting that on. I've gotta get that to get painted. In the back end, that's about it. Uh, here on the side, everything is still pretty good. I have been giving it some thought about maybe getting some black mirror covers and using doing that as well. We do want to eventually wrap this car. Uh, when, I'm not sure, but we do want to do that. Moving up here in the front, obviously you guys know we are doing the nitrous kit for this Camaro and that is coming very soon. We're going to be wrapping the chrome bow tie as well. So there is quite a bit coming to the channel guys so stick around and make sure you watch uh, subscribe hit that notification bell and don't forget to see these videos because it's going to be really really awesome so we've got everyone getting their c8s delivered man those things are looking amazing comment down below what you guys think of them i saw a video about tj hunt's uh, exhaust that he did with Magnaflow. And I wanted just to really iterate to you guys, these factory exhausts are very, very good when the valves are open. As TJ's video mentioned, if you guys haven't seen his latest video, they opened up the stock muffler of a Corvette and inside they found the basically the same thing that Magnaflow is doing. So they found the mid X pipe section with chambered uh, mufflers on each end and when the valves open it's a straight pipe when the valves close it goes through and into the chamber muffles the sound and gets the car quieted down so the stock mufflers are doing really well I don't think TJ's car sounds any louder when the valves are open because of the nature of how the stock exhaust was set up compared to theirs and that's the same thing here now the C8 is just another LT, LT engine. It's gonna sound amazing. W what they need to do is remove the cats, kind of like what we've done here, and do a cam. And that thing's gonna sound really mean. Now, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the C8. I wish I would have been able to get one of those, but if you snooze, you lose, guys. By the time they announced it, the waiting lines and the reservations lines were so long that there was no way that I was gonna be able to be one of the first ones to get one. Uh, and of course, being a YouTube channel, that is something that you kind of want to do. If you're gonna make an investment on a car, uh, even a, though I would do, do it mainly for me, I really would want that car. It just makes really good sense to try to be one of the first ones to get it. So that's kind of what happened when I got this Camaro. I really wanted a Camaro and there wasn't many 2019 Camaros out at that time when I purchased this car back a year ago actually, in around the same time in March. There wasn't much 2019 content and I decided to, I really, I was going to get, get a car anyways. So why not get something that was new, innovative and people would want to watch. And sure enough, that really helped my channel grow to where it is now. And of course I've been doing stuff to it, right? So the C8, I would have been too late. I would have probably gotten one at the end of the year, uh, but they do have that new Z06 coming out and I'm tempted to maybe get on a list. I'm not sure. We'll see about that. Those lists usually come with deposits. And I'm still debating, but I'm interested. I might be making some calls and seeing just how long lists are for that car. I mean, that car hasn't even been announced yet, but this is a time that you need to be getting on those lists if you are wanting to get one of the first ones. So if you or somebody else is looking to get a Z06, I would definitely start calling dealerships and seeing if you can be one of the first ones on their list because street p street speed 717 i think made in his last video stated like there's already lists there's already a list and there's already reservations for this car the new c8 z06 the next level up that hasn't even been announced yet we have no specs on no pictures on nothing so what do you guys think in the comment down below let me know would you want to see a z06 c8 corvette in the driveway but anyways guys i'm so glad i got the car back i wish i would have gotten it before earlier to be able to go out and give you guys some good content of T tx2k but it is what it is i'll see you guys in the next video